Colorado first. Well, it's finally starting to feel like December out there, so let's get a check on our forecast with Dave. Now the big change is here and underway. Mackenzie, take a look. Our Lookout Mountain camera downtown is right there, and you can see we have a ton of mid and high level clouds just sitting right over the area. In fact, the cold front is already pushing down into southern Colorado here, so most of our temperatures right now, 30s and 40s around here, far cry from where we have been the last couple of days. Even in the mountains, they're feeling the effects of this. A lot of 20s and 30s still up there at or below freezing. Add into that a lot of moisture. There's the cloud cover just covered. Covering that uh, cold air here, and in the last few frames here, watch this as we stop it right there. Look at it, a little bit of snow in the San Juans already. We're starting to see snow around the mountains between Sawatch and Salida, San Gabriel Cristos, and a little bit of rain moving in from Trinidad over into Springfield. The moisture all coming from this cutoff or this closed low, which is moving out of Phoenix this morning. But look at the moisture it's picking up from Mexico and pushing it right into New Mexico. It'll be coming into Colorado during the course of the evening tonight. There's actually three systems that close low the cold front and a third wave that'll affect us by the time we get to Sunday. So the cold front's through already, bringing the clouds with it. Once this closed low shoots up into the panhandle of Oklahoma tonight, that's when the snow really gets going in the mountains and the eastern plains. Most of the day tomorrow, we'll have light snow in the Denver metro area. Saturday morning, we clear out somewhat. We might even get into some sunshine on Saturday morning. And then by afternoon and evening, the third wave will come through, and that'll dump more snow in the mountains and maybe another light dusting for us because it's going to move through so quickly. But we'll have another dusting on Sunday morning. So Here's the way it plays out. By tomorrow morning, about one to two inches of snow in the Denver metro area, one to three in the foothills or near the foothills. Then we get a little more during the afternoon. So one to three during the day here in the city, about two to four from the foothills up into the mountains here, like Golden Blackhawk, Netherlands, somewhere in two to four inch range by the time we get to Sunday uh, afternoon, the way things look. And as we look at the statewide picture, same thing out east, slight amounts out here, but the mountains with that. Second wave that, or that third wave that comes through on Sunday, we'll see uh, high, high uh, snow amounts going up as that moisture comes through. So tonight, at least by about 10 o'clock, we'll start to see the snow fire up here in the Denver metro area, and then it will be snowing tomorrow morning. Maybe kind of slick for the morning commute. High temperatures today, only 40s and 50s here across the eastern plains, with 30s and 40s in the mountains and west. So I'm going about 43. So we'll probably squeeze a couple more degrees out of the afternoon, and then start to cool down as we get into the uh, later hours of the afternoon. Tonight near 20, about an inch tonight, and then another inch tomorrow, and then maybe another inch by that hit on Sunday, putting us about one to three. But tomorrow, look at that. The temperature really drops out. 29 on Friday, 30s for the weekend, and then it's not till Monday that we get back to the 40s around here. So I hope you find your coat, your gloves, your hat. You're going to need them. We're certainly going to need it, <laughs> but bring on that snow. We need that too. Oh, yeah, for sure. We need that most of all. Thanks, Dave. Mm -hmm.